Okay, here we're looking at an early 80s heat controller, which is actually a ream furnace. Here's a model and serial plate on it, so you can see what, uh, what model it is. And it has what we call a TCO on it. TCO means temperature cutout. And it's a fusible link that's placed uh, on the thermocouple so that if uh, temperatures get high enough, it'll drop the uh, pilot off, and of course it will not restart. Okay, what I'm wanting to show you here is this: these two little wires here are coming right down to the base of the thermocouple. What that is, it's a little button that's stuck in there between the thermocouple and the solenoid valve, the thermocouple solenoid inside the uh, gas valve. Okay, the two wires go to this part here. Now I'm going to pull this part off and take it up the bench and I'll show you what's inside it. and We'll explain what that thing does. Okay, here's the part out of the furnace. This is what you see when the wires are on it. This is the probe here. Now this is a high temperature fuse. Doesn't blow with high amperage draw, it blows with high temperature. Uh, so let's say there's a problem in the furnace and the limit switch fails to shut off the burners for whatever reason it sticks or whatever. This is in there as a last resort. What it's going to do is open. This is like any other kind of fuse it just opens and it's dead by the, when it opens. Uh, so when it opens, it breaks a connection for the thermocouple and the thermocouple drops out. Now I'm going to show you that because I'm going to disconnect a wire from the furnace while you're looking at the pilot. And you can see the pilot just drop out as soon as this thing is open. Okay, here's another view of this thing wired back into this thermocouple right here and I'm going to pull one of the wires off of this thing and you can see it's going to drop that pilot out. Okay you can see the pilot going in there and then when I pull this wire off it just shuts off. Okay you can plug it back in, hook it back up. Of course the, the thermocouple has already dropped the uh, uh, solenoid out so it's, uh, it's done now, it's not going to work. So why did they do this? Why did they set this up this way? Well, if you uh, have something that uh, shuts off the thermocouple and drops out the pilot, then you have to, ha somebody has to actually come down to the furnace and start looking for this and find the problem. And the idea is, hey guys, it's too hot in here, my limit switch didn't shut me down, and I'm going to let you know there's a problem. And so the idea then is to find out if there's a problem with the uh, fan switch or, you know, did the uh, blower burn up or, you know, something like that. Any of those things could happen. So uh, it's just a kind of second line of defense. It has to get a lot hotter than the uh, the fan and limit does. Now the fan and limit on this is right there. It's an old Honeywell fan and limit. Uh, so that's fairly standard. It's right above where this little uh, this little part is. And you can see here's our fan and limit up here. That's where that little part is right there with the fuse in it. So someone's going to have to come down and find out what's going on. Uh, just a kind of last line safety device. Do not bypass it, replace it. They are available and uh, get it going again.